What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is having a great day. Today, we are going to be getting our wool cell on. Now, we are going to have to flip this thing around because I have bought the right unload. I've also not gotten my telehandler's license. Don't tell anybody. Shh. <laughs> Let's see if we can spin this thing around. There's way too much turning going on. Also, we have got an updated program for doing our recordings. We have the new OBS Studio, which is very, very exciting. Let's go ahead and get this opened up and get it ready. I think, uh, yeah, about right there is going to be just fine. We've also picked up some pallet forks. This should help us out a little bit getting everything loaded. We're not going to, I'm not going to torch you by showing you the entire thing, but we have, I think it's 18 pallets, is that right? Yeah, three lines of six. 18 pallets. Holy magoli. Actually, you know what? We could probably do two at a time. Can we line these up? Yo! We're gonna get two at a time. Line it up, just perfect. If we can do it, are we low enough? Yeah, we're low enough now. Just not centered. Come on, just... Let me do it. Got him. So this entire thing is going to be stacked full of wool pallets. I think we're going to have to go too high for some of these. These are going to be a lot. Those down. And zoom out. Bam. There's two. How many can we fit in this thing? Now for the very last one. This one's going to be very tricky to get up here. Come on. Actually, so they've all been very, very tricky to get in. The bottom row was fine until I realized that we had a lot more to go up there. These have not wanted to come off. Get off of the thing. St get. Get. You know what? I ain't even mad. It's up there. Don't even care. Nope. Not one bit. Pulling this? That's what I care about. This is going to be difficult. Oh, look up. It says we've got 18,000 liters, uh, which is accurate. Each one of these holds a thousand liters. And this is pulling it. Yo, not too shabby if I do say so myself. We are going to go get this sold. We've got one place to go, and that is the spinnery. A couple more things to do today. We need to buy a new field because we've got some extra work to do. Uh, I've been in contact with our buddy Sub to Cows, link in the description, <laughs> and uh, he has given us another challenge. Uh, he says on top of the $1 million that he wants us to make at once, he wants us to get a crop and have 200,000 liters of that crop. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Well, I know from experience that every field I have together only yields like, oh gosh, what is it? Something like 180,000 liters, something like that? Like at most. So we don't have quite enough. So we're gonna buy a new field. And I have been eyeing this field right here to our left, field 16, I believe it is. Yeah, field 16. I've been eyeing this field. Semi-squared off, so it would work with a uh, worker. It's close to our fields, and it's close to the rest of our fields and our main farm, so we can get to it easy. Uh, it is between us and the store, so if there's anything we need for it, we can just go to the store and get it. There are lots and lots of upsides to getting that field, and I think eventually I would like to get field 17 as well. Depending on what we're going to get for this, we may be able to get both. But again, that's depending on can we sell enough? It's rocking out, I think it's about $1,800 per thousand liters right now. We have, well, now it's reading 9,000. Uh, we definitely have more than 9,000 liters in here. So we shall see what we're gonna get. The selling of this is gonna be very tricky, so what we're gonna try and do is just pull straight in. We're gonna see how this works. Hopefully things will start selling, which they are. Things are selling at a massive, massive rate. 
Holy cow! Go, 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 baby! Go, baby, go! Got one that's fallen here. There we go. Gotten rid of it. What did we get? 31, 5, and 15. So about $33,000 off of all of that. That might be enough for both fields. Yo, that really might be enough for both those fields. Let's jump over there and take a look. Uh, I do need to return the pallet forks, and I do need to return the trailer. We did lease both of those, uh, seeing as we don't mess with pallets that much, and we don't really carry pallets that much. I mean, you could put a tractor in here, but you have my blessing trying to do that. Good luck. Right before we go do our stuff with the field, I've noticed that this isn't working for some reason. Why you no working? Uh, un unfold belt? No, nope, that's not what I want. Turn, change, no, it's, it's working, it's working. Engine's working. Turn off the belt? No, 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 everything's working. Did it pick it all up? Picked it all up? Okay, well, we got it about centered, centered about as close as we could. Um, our buddy Ross down in the comment section below, I uh, mentioned the last time it needed to be centered. So we did try and pull that centered a little bit. We got it turned on. Very cool, very cool. Nice, I like it. So, oh, forgot to turn this off. Let's turn that off real quick. There we go. What is next? Well, we've got to get a field. We need to buy a field. And the fields that we're looking at are grass. Now, one thing is you can fertilize a grass field when it is fully grown. So let's take a look here. 16 is going to cost us 252000 Field 17 is going to cost us 252000 as well. Actually, 16 is a little bit cheaper. Why is 16 cheaper? Is, seven, is there something wrong with 17? I was thinking about 16. Now I'm thinking about 17 because that's going to be... Let's bring this in. 16 may be easier to access. However, I think 17 is going to give us the biggest area of you. You know what? I already said 16. Let's go 16. I'm going to buy it so that we don't even have the option. Now, not fertilized whatsoever. We will need to get some fertilization going in there. I think we're going to do that with, uh, let's see, let's go, let's go hit it with this guy. Should have fertilizer around here somewhere. Oh no. There we go. Here's some fertilizer. If there's nothing in here, we can always buy some. Get it close. Hooked up. And there's some... I think we could... Wow. Things are not going good for us today, are they? <laughs> I think we can hit the entire field with this. Let's see. Fire here. Open. Nope. That is not the field we bought. What is going on with me today, guys? ADHD is taking over. It is taking over. Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> see where we are. Oh, let's do a reboot. Reboot. What's going on, everybody? Confused DJ Goham here. How is everybody doing today? <laughs> so new field has been purchased. No gates, no nothing. Let's boom out. And let's see. Yes, we can indeed fertilize. I'm loving it. Let's do it. While we've got a worker going on with the fertilization, we're going to head over to the store because I've picked something up. And it's not something a lot of people use, but we're going to be using it today. We have the Kuhn. Go to the garage. <laughs> we have the Kuhn FBP3135. You can find this in bailing technology. Should be the third one from the left. There you go. $76,000. Or you can lease it for $3,800. Now, we have changed the foil color to pink, and so it is still that same price for us. What it does is it does round bales and then it wraps them for us. So we will have a bunch of round bales that are silage. Yeah. So what it'll do is it'll kind of work the way a normal round baler does. You have to go through, you have to unload it. It will unload itself automatically into the, uh, the chamber in the back, which will then go through and wrap it. And then from there, all you have to worry about is have you got a full bale and is the bale in the back done i'm hoping that this is going to keep us from having to come through a couple different times the last time we did bales we did square bales 
And when I tried to go through and wrap them, I ended up not doing that because it was a constant hassle of going through, doing the square bales, then having to come back through, rewrap them, then having to come back through and pick them up. This way, all we have to do is mow and then bale and wrap at the same time, and then we'll have to come through, collect them. So we're taking four steps, making them three. I think that's correct anyway. Nonetheless, we're going to save ourselves a little bit of time, hopefully a little bit of money as well. And let's see, let's bump around, find our worker here. Worker seems to be doing a fairly good job. They're going about as fast as they can. Uh, one thing, we're going a little slower than normal. I think, I think this needs to be repaired. Yep, definitely needs to be repaired. That's why we're going so slow. We'll make sure that we take care of that as well. But first, let's go get the mower because it's time to mow this. Eventually, we will plant something else in here. But while the grass is here, we may as well use it. Time to fast farm. So what you want to do is you want to unfold and lower your mower. Now, this will work with any of the mowers. Just make sure you do it. There we go. Lowered and lowered. Then you want to kind of get to your starting point wherever you are going to start. We are going to try and get as much of this mode as possible. So we're going to start about right here. I'm going to turn it. No, I'm not going to turn it on like that. We've got to get this thing folded in. Uh, let's see. Toggle work mode. There we go. Swath dropping down the center. Why was that all the way open? Anyway, regardless. So now we're going to turn it back on and then double tap a on our xbox controller while holding lb left bumper or this is gonna be l1 and x for xbox player playstation player sorry bam bam you kind of see it hesitate and hop and jump a little bit is everything down is everything good everything looks good it appears that it is working and we are flying this is going to be a 26 mile an hour mowing i will tell you mowing this fast with a vehicle that turns with the rear wheels is extremely difficult to handle so if you can handle it awesome if you can't don't worry you are not alone i advise when you get to turns you take your dandy time be easy with it don't don't try to get all uh race car drivery with it you are not going to make that turn like you think you will i promise <laughs> here we go first pass is looking good we gotta get some more going let's rock baby All donezo. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and fold this up, get everything turned off. Need to unfold it. But I turned it off. I didn't turn it on. Gosh, what's wrong with this thing? I don't even know. Uh, this may be a good time to sell this, to be honest with you. Not that we need to sell it. Not that we need the money from it. But we're not using it. <laughs> Ever. We're not doing anything with it. So it almost makes sense to me to get rid of it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the description below. <laughs> description. Comments below. It's just, it's one of them days. It is one of them days. Let me know down in the comments below. Should we keep it? Should we get rid of it? Uh, we don't plan on doing anything with uh, grass, at least for another little while, until we buy another grass field at least, and we want what we've got on it. That's exactly why we're doing this in the first place. All right. So... Picking this up, we gotta get 4,000. What it's going to do is when we hit 4,000, we're gonna stop. About right there. We shall stop and it will roll back. There we go. And now it's closed. We can continue. And that's gonna wrap itself up nice and easy. And we will simply repeat the process over 
and over and over again just like this on and on and on waiting waiting <laughs> this is going to take a good while to complete uh we may not do the entire field we may go get our loading wagon and uh do something like that maybe but there you go bam over and over and over again that's it and it'll pop it back out the great thing is these have we get about five hundred dollars per thousand liters of silage right now which means each of these bells is worth close to two thousand dollars that's a whole lot of money uh we plopped out what two so far plopping out a third now that's six grand already and i'm about to take this bell which was worth about three hundred dollars and give it even more that's awesome i'm loving it yes so let's continue on about this uh we may take a break from this to go ahead and start planting some fields but otherwise this is what we are doing this is what we are rocking with and it is all good baby it is all good we have our headland done and we've got a bunch of bells just hanging out everywhere i mean thousands and thousands of dollars worth of bells just hanging out gotta spend money to make money and i tell you what if you are on the fence about doing silage bells of any way shape or form saying i don't have a baler i don't have a wrapper i don't have a wagon for it do it if you've got a mower get out there and do it even if you don't have a mower just do it get out there take a loan out <laughs> take a loan out get the equipment leased buy the field flip the field when you're done with it you don't need the field you just want what's in the field so if you've got the money to do all that do it you will make money much much faster than you think speaking of making money much much faster than you think we are about to show you exactly how to do that unfortunately eight bells at a time but still nonetheless we're still gonna do it there's that bam 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 we're gonna have to make a lot of trips let's see what are we selling for right now 581 dollars per thousand liters at southview barns which is the one place where we can do barns one thing would be cool is to get the bga sometime get in there buy the bga and see what we can do with that i know that actually does, is bga even listed no it's not even listed because we don't own it we go bam and bam let's get this taken over let's see how much we're going to make off of this one load assuming each one's two thousand dollars i think we can look at around 16 grand a little bit more probably closer to 17 grand for this list let's find out what are we gonna get let's see if we can get it unloaded Ooh. little span's just a little bit too small right there get it backed in oh it's not half as high as i thought it was and we're just gonna drop it right in there boom baby eighteen thousand six hundred and one bucks you know how much we're gonna make off of that entire field more than that <laughs> i want to get back in there let's jump back in there i want to see how much money we're going to make just off of the headland alone here's our last load from the headland now now one thing that i did i did have to create three more after doing the headland just to get a full load i mean there's no point to bring over a half load over here you're just wasting time but this is our fourth fourth load i believe there we go Eighteen thousand six hundred and one every single time let's jump in here and let's see where are we at sold vehicles nope sold bales there we go seventy four thousand four hundred and four. Oh, oh i'm loving that so that on top of the sold wool that we had we have made one hundred thousand dollars harvesting up wait what is it oh that's from today because i haven't done a whole lot today that's why but still yo we're doing well because that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you're not already please subscribe if you have any questions about the stuff that we've been up to let me know down in the comment section below be happy to help you guys out if you got anything you want to see let me know as well we're having a good time over here on marwell manor hope you guys have a great day and we will see 
you later. Peace. Hashtag go ham fam. Yo, yo.